What's up everyone, it's Mark from Silence Tech. I hope you're all keeping well. Today I have an awesome video where I'm gonna be showcasing my whole gaming setup for 2021. This video is meant to go out in 2020, but unfortunately I contracted COVID-19. So I've been pretty ill, just feel like I've got the flu. It hasn't gone onto my chest yet, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be okay. So I'm a bit worried at the moment, but I'm sure I'll be all right. Anyway, let's start today's video. So let's roll the intro. Okay guys, first up, my gaming PC is housed inside this Corsair Carbide 678C ATX mid-tower case. It has amazing airflow and all of the modern features I could ever ask for from a case. The fans are QR120s and they do a fantastic job at providing plenty of cold air to not only my GPU but all of the other components as well. My CPU liquid cooler is a H150i Capellix and so far it's done a fantastic job at cooling my 10-core 20-thread Intel i9-10900K while it's been overclocked this whole time at 5.1 GHz, temps never hit above 80 degrees Celsius. For memory I have 32GB of Dominator Platinum running at 3600 MHz, my motherboard is a Z490 Aorus Master and so far it's not missed a beat, I can highly recommend it. My current GPU is a Founders Edition RTX 3080 from Nvidia, it runs extremely cool, quiet and matches perfectly with my Intel i9-10900K. For storage I have a 2TB Aorus M.2, one Samsung 500GB M.2, a single 1TB Kingston SATA based SSD and lastly a 2TB Western Digital hard drive and all this is powered by a Corsair RM850X PSU. Checking out my second PC I use it strictly for editing and I have no games installed on it at all. For the case I went with the 4000X from Corsair, my favourite case of 2020. Inside I have a Ryzen 9 3950X, a 16 core 32 thread CPU. Calling the 3950X is a H100i in white paired with 32GB of Dominator Platinum RGB DDR4 running at 3600MHz and all of them are connected to an X570 ASRock motherboard. For cooling I have 6 LL series 120mm fans that provide decent cooling and stunning RGB lighting in and around the case. My GPU is currently an MSI Lightning Z RTX 2080 Ti. One standout feature of this card is the on-screen display. I currently have it set to show the temperature, but there's a whole host of other readouts to choose from in MSI's Mystic Light software. While editing, I use this Creative Sound Blaster A9 sound card. It delivers some of the cleanest audio I've ever heard, way better than my older X7 external USB DAC. The separate breakout box makes a great audio solution for work and gaming as well. It's extremely important so that I have clear audio to get all of my levels sounding correct and this does the job perfectly. Moving on to my monitors, I have three Acer Predator XB271HUs down below and a single ASUS ROG PG348Q up top mounted on an Ergotron sit-stand arm. The arm allows me to pull my IPS monitor down to eye level for some epic ultra-wide high refresh rate gaming. I have owned these monitors for around two years now, might be a little bit more than that, but so far they have not let me down once, no dead pixels or any other issues to report. When playing competitive FPS games, I usually use this 1440p Lenovo Y27GQ-25 since it has a 240Hz refresh rate. Even though it's so good to game on, I would never buy three of these to replace my Acer monitors since the fan situated behind cooling the G-Sync module is kind of loud. Regardless, this is my ultimate gaming monitor of choice right now. Hopefully when I get some more space, I can create another single monitor eSports focused gaming setup using this monitor. 
My keyboard and mouse choice for 2020 is a Logitech G Pro X Superlite and Corsair's Epic K100 RGB. I've just replaced the stock keycaps with a set of HK Gaming Double Shot Pudding PPT keycaps. They are easy to get hold of on Amazon and they're fairly cheap. I'll put a link in the description, but they are generally nice quality for the money. My mouse pad of choice is from Glorious, it's the XXL extended version. My headset of choice for gaming is a pair of wireless Arctis Pros by SteelSeries. The audio they deliver is not processed at all, making it extremely easy to hear footsteps and gunfire in first person games. Plus the charging solution is epic. The DAC comes with a spare battery that charges while you play. I have never actually plugged a cable into this headset once and for a wireless headset that is game changing in my opinion. One new addition to my gaming setup is this awesome chair from Corsair, their T2 Rode Warrior in black. I was using a white Noble chair before and it just did not hold up at all well. In certain places the PU lever started going yellow and no I don't smoke. Regardless it was time for a change and so far I'm incredibly happy with the switch to the T2 Warrior. I have also found the pillow gives my back much better support plus it sits lower compared to my older Noble. I always felt like my seating position was a little too high even at its lowest setting. Plus I'm kind of digging the carbon fibre armrests and all of the other little touches that make this a nice upgrade. My desks have not changed, I'm still running a 200cm white gloss dining table connected to a smaller 160cm one that I've chopped in half to put both of my PCs on. Overall I have absolutely loved having these desks and having so much space to work and film on, but going forward I'm planning on switching them out for maybe a wood desk in 2021. So that rounds off my gaming setup, I didn't go into too much detail since not a lot has changed. I was planning on moving into an office around June of this year, when that went south I was a little depressed to be honest and I completely stopped making any setup related content. I'm struggling every day to make content with all of this in my living room and two kids running around the place, I desperately need my own space. I do have another plan or a trick up my sleeve to get my own space, if it happens you'll be the first to know, but there's no way I'm going to make any videos about it like before until I know 100% it's going forward. Anyway everyone I really hope you've enjoyed my setup video. My name's Mark from Silence Tech and I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye.